What's going on guys, welcome back to Zone of Champions. Today, we're going to go ahead and do the SmackDown Live Tour. And see how far we can get in it. Uh, Raw finished about an hour ago. Um, not too much happened. Uh, enough happened, obviously. But... There's the big things that happened, uh, we had, uh, we had Braun Strowman face Kalisto in a dumpster match, which actually wasn't, you know, as bad as I was thinking it would be. I thought it would be a lot, you know, pretty boring, to be honest with you. But thankfully it was not, and it was actually not that bad. Uh, Kalisto actually wins, but afterwards, Ron Strowman ended up beating the crap out of Kalisto, putting him in the dumpster, pushing it up the ramp, onto the stage area, and then, we had Ron Strowman strap the top, and push the dumpster with Kalisto in it, off the stage. Uh, how they have seen that happen in years, I like, spent a really long time. But, that happened, um, what else happened? We had The Club and Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins, Big Cass. It was gonna be Enzo Amore, but they took him out before the match began. So, the replacement actually ended up being Finn Balor, which I thought was really interesting to have Balor, you know, face off against you know, the club. Uh, didn't think that would happen. Uh, nothing happened that was like, oh my god, Balor and the club are gonna be a sign. Uh, just your typical six man match. It was very exciting to watch, if I'm being honest. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, other than that, nothing, nothing too crazy happened. Um, what else did we have? We had... We had a segment with Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Alexa, uh, Alexa Bliss, which ended up turning into a match between Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. Uh, actually... I will take that. Um... Alexa Bliss gets herself counted out, because... She doesn't see the point of facing Sasha Banks, so she gets counted out, and Bailey goes to throw her towards the ring uh, to get beat up by Sasha. She gets away from it, comes back, and beats up Bailey from behind. Sasha comes back to try to save her, and obviously Alexa Bliss runs away. So, there was that. Uh, what else did we have? In the opening segment, we had Chris Jericho uh, do the highlight reel, gets interrupted by The Miz, who then says it is now Miz TV, and the highlight reel is no more. Ambrose comes out, says no one wants to watch Miz TV, so this is now going to be the Ambrose Asylum. And Ambrose and Jericho kind of go back and forth about, like, hey, you know, we've been through this, we've been through that, but why don't we let bygones be bygones? And Ambrose gives Jericho a gift, and it ends up being a new jacket. Well, I shouldn't say new jacket, but a custom handmade jacket by Dean Ambrose that is. Pretty much your average coat, uh, like suit jacket, whatever you want to call it, and it has Christmas lights wrapped around it. Jericho ends up wearing it though. Um, so that happened, and then later on in the night we had the Miz versus uh the Miz and the Mystery Partner versus. Ambrose and 
Jericho, the Mrs. Tiger doesn't show up, so it ends up becoming a handicap match, and the Mrs. Jin did not throughout the match, until towards the end of the match, basically, the Miz tries to get away by going up the ramp, so then they have to face off against, uh, Ambrose and Jericho, Ambrose chases them, they go to the announcer's table, and it looks like Ambrose is going to drop Jericho with the Dirty Deeds on top of the announcer's table. The lights go out with the white graphic, and now facing against Ambrose on top of the announcer's table is Bray Wyatt, who throws Ambrose off the table, and ends up beating up uh, Ambrose, and then Jericho tries to intervene. He just beat up a little bit by Miz and Wyatt, who then take Jericho back down to the ring and end up, uh, he ends up getting Jericho hits Miz with the code breaker, who then gets hit by Sister Abigail from Wyatt. Wyatt poses, Miz is like, yeah, good job, then he gets dropped with Sister Abigail, and the show ends with Wyatt saying, follow the buzzards. So, not a bad Raw. Uh, there was some stuff that ha We had a Cruiserweight tag team match. Uh, Neville and TJ Perkins uh, taking on um, Austin Aries and Jack Gallagher, which was a good match. Um, it ended up being, I believe, Blueberries and Gallagher won. Because Aries, if I'm not mistaken, won with the Warren elbow that he hit on TJ Perkins. And I think that ends up being all that was like, you know, fine. Oh no, we had Matt Hardy take on Seamus, that's right. Um, so Matt Hardy faced off against Sheamus, um, Matt Hardy won, kind of due to, uh, almost double interference, because what ended up happening is, basically, Matt just taken outside of the ring, uh, Jeff tried to, like, check up on him, he got pushed away by Sheamus, and Seamus rolls Matt back into the ring, and Jeff kind of goes up on the ring and talks to the ref, kind of distracts him. Cesaro pulls him down, and is like, whoa, 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 what are you trying to do there? Seamus turns around into a twist of fate. Matt Hardy wins, and there, there's kind of some hidden tension between the two teams. They shake hands, and move on to Sunday. Now I think that was everything that I can remember. But, now we have tomorrow night for SmackDown. Uh, they said, obviously you have Charlotte and, um, Charlotte and Naomi facing one another for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, which I'm I'm going to say Charlotte will win that. Um, I'm very confident in saying that. I could be completely wrong, and Charlotte won't win, but I have a pretty good feeling that Charlotte will win that. So, they said that. Uh, the star of the show will actually end up being Shinsuke Nakamura will deliver a message to the WWE Universe, so I no for a fact, I would get to see Shinsuke Nakamura when I go to SmackDown, uh, technically, tonight, so I'm very, very excited about that. Um, pretty much one of my top people that I'm a huge fan of, other than AJ Styles. Uh, AJ is definitely my favorite, uh, in WWE right now. And then we have, oh, come on. Hmm. 
And then also for tomorrow night, we're gonna have Van Corbin versus AJ Styles. And we're also gonna have a Vince the Clock challenge uh, between four tag teams to determine who will face the Usos, I assume at Backlash, for the SmackDown tag team titles. And the tag teams will be American Al Alpha, the Colognes, um, the Ascension, and then Brizondo. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say the Colognes because it seems like they're going to get a push. And then in a no DQ match, a non title no DQ match, will be between Randy Orton and Eric Rowan. Um, I suspect that Jimmy Mahal and the Sin Brothers will end up interfering in that matchup. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if that is the case. And I wouldn't say they cost Orton the match, but I say more so Orton wins and then they attack him afterwards. Would be my guess. Uh, I that. I believe that might be it that's going to happen when like confirmed will happen on um, on SmackDown so far that we know of. But it should be an interesting show, to say the least. I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm excited that I do get to see AJ Styles in action and I get to see since they're not from her. I don't even have to wait to see not from her. He's gonna open the show like I can't be mad about that. Wow, you are You are dumb. Alright, well missile drop pick. Alright, well I pretty much won. Um, I'm excited to see Nakamura pretty much right at the start. That makes me pretty happy. Uh also on 205 Live, they're going to have Neville versus Jack Gallagher, which should be a good match. And I'm sure we're going to see Kevin Nolan's The Face of America Challenge once again. Uh, it'll probably be some sort of enhancement talent if I had to take a guess, but that's fine by me. I don't mind seeing Kevin Owens. I don't think I've ever seen Kevin Owens. If I'm not mistaken, okay, so let me think about this. I just realized I might see Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan also. I never think about that. I have never seen Shane McMahon, so I would love to see Shane McMahon come out and, you know, make a match or something. So, people that I have never seen before in my time of going to the wrestling events uh, pretty much every year, at least once through like the last five, six years. Uh, people I'm going to see probably for the first time would be AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, hopefully Shane McMahon, now that I thought about it. Is that pretty much it? Uh, I mean, you know, some of the cruiserweights, obviously. But I think that might be it. I mean, that's still, like, pretty good. Um, I already told you guys I've seen Nakamura when I went to, uh, NXT back in, um, September. But yeah, I'm excited about this. Well, I haven't seen American Alpha. So my bad. I've, I've never seen American Alpha, so I'm excited to see them. I haven't seen Charlotte. Wow, there is a lot of people I've never seen before. Huh. That'll be a good show. That'll be a really good show. I think the number one, if it's not AJ or Nakamura that I'm excited to see, I think the number one person I really would love to see is Shen McMahon. Because... I don't think I'm gonna have an opportunity to see Shane McMahon after this event. So hopefully that happens. It'd be pretty cool if it did. Oh my god, I might actually lose this. Wow. 
Wow. I actually lost that. I did not the pound though, unfortunately. That's too bad. I know I can do them though. Let's go ahead and heal up. Yeah, if I got to see Shenmit, man, that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. But I think the number one person that I really am excited to see the most, definitely AJ Styles. Well, there's no question about that. But we'll see how it goes as a show. Um, I think if I had to compare it to Raw now, after knowing what will be on SmackDown ahead of time, um, honestly, I think I'm going to give the edge this week to SmackDown based solely on the fact of the potential, not the potential, the, the fact that it will be, you no. Know, the matchup that it is. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hopefully so. Oh, alright. Should be able to kick out. Yeah. Oh, you are. It's over anyway. Obviously, I'll let you guys know how it went. Uh, I can definitely talk about SmackDown way in depth, uh, mainly because I'll just be there. So, hopefully, in Wednesday's video or videos, um, I can talk to you guys about how it was and my experience and all that. So, That is another time for another day. We're gonna try to finish this off real quick so that we can finish up because after this I think I might be able to do one more. Hopefully. Russian light sleep should be fine. Yeah. All right. So apparently, pick turns it into. Uh. I just put a wall card. Wow. Alright, so missile draft pick. Do not pin him. He's gonna pin him. Dang it! Oh, that's actually gonna win. So never mind. Alright, come on. There you go. Man, Finn Bauer is so good. I can't wait to get him like all the way leveled up. He's gonna be a beast. I don't even have a max out. I don't even know if I'm halfway to max him out. I might be, I just don't know it. But, alright. So, okay. So we can finish off with it's, uh, Brian, and then that'll be it for this video. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can maybe make quick work of Daniel Bryan. Who I will probably end up seeing, uh, at SmackDown. Uh, okay. Might actually get my finisher quick. Ooh, that hurts. Nah, I already got my finisher. 
I need to already draw the back again. Wow. Oh man, dude. How many times it? Oh, dude, I gotta at least wait. I have to. I didn't want to, but I have to wait one more turn so that I can use the missile drop kick. Okay. So, missile drop kick. And then the Pune Rot, ah, oh, this isn't gonna win it. Oh my god, it's in. Oh boy. That was close. Alright. So there we go. That is the Smackdown Live Tour. I can't move any further if I don't have anyone that can do MJ. So, oh, by the way, the main superstar until Wednesday is Seth Rollins, the undisputed future. Who, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I kind of won, even though I already have two different Seth Rollins superstars. I have the NFT one and the Shield one, but why not have them all? Uh, I did try my luck to get one. I wasn't fortunate enough, so to say. But, that's alright. But, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for more Champions content. And as always, I'll talk to you all later.